I've become quite comfortable flying my DJI F550 via FPV. I'm using a GoPro mounted on a two-axis gimbal as video feed and skyward goggles, which have a nice wide view. Only downside is the image is not crisp because Skyward does not make sufficient corrective lenses for their goggles. Before takeoff, the battery voltage is at 12.3 volts. Just after takeoff, it sags to 11.6 volts. Flying down a path at a leisurely 2.8 meters per second, or 10 kilometers per hour. Danger here is, in the goggles, I cannot see the thin branches, and clipping one would result in a crash. Enough of this, let's go higher. Twenty-seven meters altitude and now cruising at 5.8 meters per second or 21 kilometers per hour requiring around five degrees forward pitch. Pushing the pitch to 14 degrees and the speed is up to 9.4 meters per second or 34 kilometers per hour. left to right crosswind, hence the slight roll to the left. More pitch and the speed increases to 12 meters per second or 43 kilometers per hour. The medium field of view of the GoPro gives a nice balance between view angle and the size of objects viewed in the goggles. Using the wide view makes everything look too small until you are about to fly into them. Now full forward stick and the speed maxes at 17.9 meters per second or 64 kilometers per hour with a little help from a tailwind. Back into the wind with full forward stick gives a 24 degree pitch and a speed of 14.8 meters per second, or 53 kilometers an hour. Note that the speed is ground speed, not air speed. Averaging the last two speeds results in a full forward stick air speed of 16.3 meters per second, or 58 kilometers per hour. When flying forward, you can come down pretty quick too without the craft rocking as it can on vertical descents. Should I run into any problems during FPV flight, like losing video signal, the copter has a return to home autopilot feature, which I test regularly.
Thanks for watching. Check out these links for some of my other F-550 flights.